Now that you understand mutating an array in place using array prototype methods, you'll we can move a little quicker here with removing elements. So rather than add, we can take away from the tail, from the head, or somewhere in between in a specific position. Okay, so let's talk about pop. Okay, if we pop something off of an array, then we're taking it from the tail. We take one element from the end. And we have the same variation with adding. We can merely refer to our array and say pop, empty round brackets. And in this case, it just removes that element from the end. And now we have two elements as opposed to three. Okay, takes one element from the end. Now pop can be used as an assignment state statement. It doesn't give us the new count. It gives us the item that was removed from the tail, right? When we took it away, oh, let me just put the deleted item there to the, there we go. Let's grab this deleted item and copy that instead. There we go. And if we output that to the console, there we go. We should see prog 1124. That was the element removed. And so if we want to get at that element that was removed, use pop in the assignment statement as opposed to just in line. Um, OK, so that's taking something from the end. Well, of course, then we can take something from the beginning. Shift as opposed to unshift. OK, so let me comment this out come back to our courses array and in place we can refer to shift start right at position zero get rid of something right and we'll just look at courses in the console so what we should see now is we should have one less element but we'll see the one from the head gone probe 1123 in this case is no longer and again if we wanted to get at the one we removed from the beginning of the array, well, then look at the assignment statement operation instead of just calling it in line. And there we can delete the element from the beginning and also get at that through the assignment statement. OK. Last but not least, we can delete an element or elements, plural, using splice. Now we're going to use it a slightly different way than we used it with adding elements. Okay, so the idea is you use splice but you don't pass any elements in which to add in. So if I just refer to courses dot splice. Okay, then we can say start at which position. So we have an array of three elements. So let's say we start at position one and we want to remove one then we would basically be removing this one right here, Prog 1735. Let's put that to the console and make sure that that is understood correctly. Okay, there we go. We can see we have two elements and of course the 1735 one was removed. Notice we're just not having that third uh, parameter there. We put a third parameter there for adding elements. In this case, we just don't provide that third argument. Okay, if we want to get rid of two elements starting at position one, well then, that's what's going to happen. We'll see now. We should just have an array of one element. Prog 1, 1, 2, 3 is left. And of course, we can use this statement as an assignment operation, and thus we get at, again, the removed elements, right? In this case, it would be two elements there, 1735 and 1, 1, 2, 4. Okay, so now you've seen adding and you have seen uh, removing. Okay, so we'll look at one other mutator type um, in this video series and then we're going to move on to other array prototype methods.